Hello YouTube, Jeff Steele here with Steele Navigator. Today I want to shoot a video on the topic of college degrees. Are they worth the money? Should you go to college? Okay. And the answer is complicated. Okay. What I'm going to share with you today is wisdom that I wish I knew when I was in high school before I ever started college. Okay. I didn't learn about this information until I was already graduated from college after a couple of years, okay? So I had to learn the hard way. So if you watch this video, you'll be able to know the information before, hopefully before you ever even start college, okay? Now, I have a business degree, okay? A bachelor's, okay, in business. Another term for that should be a bachelor's of common sense. Okay. At the time when I chose that major, I thought, okay, business equals money. I want to make money. So I get a degree in business. Okay. I was very wrong. Okay. Very wrong. I might as well have got a degree in fine arts. Okay. I'm not saying that you cannot make a living with a business degree or a degree in fine arts, okay, social studies, you can make enough to survive, all right? I'm, I'm not denying that, okay? What I am saying is if you really want to make money, I'm talking if you want, so most of those degrees, business degrees, fine arts degrees, most people are going to make anywhere from 50 to 75 grand a year and maybe even a little less, maybe 40 to 50,000, okay? That's the window, all right? Which basically, in most states, that's just gonna pay your bills, okay? There's, there's no way around that, all right? If you really want to make money, truthfully want to make money, you need to get a specific degree, okay? There are several degrees that make good money, but there is a spectrum, okay? I'm talking, when you choose one of these degrees I'm fixing to talk about, you're going to make double, in many cases, three and four times what the person with a business degree or a fine arts degree is going to get, okay? Even if you have an accounting or finance degree, okay, which is the better business degrees as far as learning an actual skill in science, you're still only going to be making 100 125k at a max, okay, once you really get some 5, 10, 15 year experience, okay? And still, I mean, that's a living, it's a decent living, but if you really want some extra spending money in your pocket, you really need to choose a degree in the STEM fields, okay? I've worked in HR and payroll. I have seen exactly what jobs pay what, okay? The research is on the internet, but I have seen it firsthand in corporate America, what job pays what. And I'm here to tell you, share that information with you, okay? So number one, if you're going to go to college, period, you need to choose a degree in the STEM fields, okay? Now some, they all pay good money, but some pay even better money than others, okay? So they're not easy to get a degree in those but it is worth every ounce of energy, even if you have to get a student loan, okay? If you get a degree in one of these STEM fields, you will absolutely get a return on your investment. Absolutely, okay? So even if you have no money. So what are these degrees, okay? Let's look at engineering, number one, okay? That's one umbrella of STEM. Okay, so what engineering degrees did you get? Okay, one, I would say software engineering. Two, I would say chemical engineering, mechanical engineering, biomedical engineering. Okay, but I would probably say the software engineering would probably pay the most out of those today in today's information and technology boom okay next would be the medical fields okay but keep in mind so for example you're going to be a doctor some type of scientist in that area 
But keep in mind, usually those fields require your time. Although you're gonna have a high income, it's gonna require your time. So for example, if you're gonna be a medical doctor, yes, you're gonna make a lot of money, but you're gonna be putting in 12 hour shifts, okay? So what is the next area? Okay, you have mathematics degrees, statistical degrees, those types of areas. Yes, you can find absolute good jobs in big tech, big corporations, being a, statist a statistician or some type of data scientist, okay, where you're just crunching numbers all day, okay, and presenting that data to the people to use that information to make, make business decisions. Yes, you can make good money, all right? And people say, oh, well, these degrees, I don't want to be staring at a computer screen all day. Well, guess what? Today's world, it don't really matter what degree you get. You're going to be staring at a computer screen anyway, so you might as well get a degree that's going to pay you double or triple the amount of money to be looking at a computer screen anyway. So the business majors, they're looking at computer screens all day anyways. But they're making a third of what these people are making. Okay? But what area is the absolute best, I believe, has the highest income earners. That is technology, okay? Now, what degrees fall under technology, okay? Number one, computer science, okay? And computer science is a rabbit hole. You can get super specialized or advanced degrees, okay? I would recommend even getting a master's or PhD if you can, if you get the time and the money. But even after you stop your formal education, continue to get your certifications over and over and over, okay? I would try to get a certification a month, at, at least. I mean, if you can't do that, do a certification every three months, every six months, whatever you can do. The more certifications you have after that formal education, the better will keep you current, because keep in mind, fresh grads are coming out every they're coming out three times a year from all these universities, okay, with fresh information. The competition is absolutely fierce, so you have to stay current. So computer science and then software engineering, of course, melds it, mel mends in with, with the technology, information technology, okay? So I'd say, again, the, the technology, software engineering, computer science, now, there's business aspects of information technology, okay, which where you're sort of the liaison between the, the business world, the mechanical world, and the IT world. So those are the number one degrees. Okay, the technology degrees are going to absolutely pay the, net, the most amount of money, without question. Engineering behind that, okay, I'd say the mathematician, the statistician degrees would be behind that. A medical is going to be up there or mid-range, but again, it's mostly time invasive. Unless you find a way to start your own practice, write a book, and be able to scale that in some way, all right? But overall, we're talking about the 5, 10-year, 15, 20-year careers, information technology, is where the mega money is okay if I it, what would I have done if I could turn back the clock what would I have majored in okay number one I would have majored in computer science that would have been the bachelor's and I probably would have got some type of advanced degree in artificial intelligence because that is the future okay artificial intelligence and that is gonna save time it's gonna save money it's gonna enable companies to cut jobs, cut processes, that is the future, okay? For example, look at the automobile world. We are moving towards driverless cars, okay? That is artificial intelligence. That is the future. Artificial intelligence can be applied in virtually everything that we do, okay? Look at inside your home, the iRobot. Okay, the vacuum cleaner that vacuums, it's, it vacuums your house by itself. That is artificial intelligence, okay? 
Artificial intelligence, again, saves time, saves money, saves energy and effort, okay? That's the future of technology, all right? So, is college worth it? Yes, college is worth it, but only if you get those degrees. Do what m makes money, number one, and then you can do what you truly love later, okay? If you start out doing what you love and it doesn't make money, I promise you, you'll wish you have took the other route, all right? Hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this enlightened some of you. This is information I wish I knew before I started college, but just flat out had no clue. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Share the video if you would. Tap the thumbs up icon and subscribe if you would. I thank you for watching. Have a great day.